All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. And uh, what are we doing this time? Well, a little weird. We are actually targeting Bream at Amber, which honestly is something I can say I've never done before. Um, you know, which I'll try anything once, I guess. So let's see how this goes. The nice thing is the way we have these set up, we're at 25 meter clip. And if I throw them at 90% cast, they go exactly 25 meters. Well, given how early it is in the evening, late afternoon still basically, so far this is looking promising. 25 meters, a little bit of a long clip for bream, <laughs> for bream fishing. Um, I do think we run a little bit of a risk here. Uh, of hooking into a carp. But if that happens, we'll hope it's a small carp. We're using large one hooks. We're using pea porridge. We are using PVA bags because you kind of figure it, at amber, fish are used to PVA. So if PVA is going to work well for bream anywhere it might just be here other than that this is what we have on 6.2 fluorocarbon liters a little bit on the small side from what i'd like to use here i'm thinking but i also don't want to scare the big bream off with too big of a leader so we're going to take a chance and see if we if it either a goes really well or b ruins our day Also eating a little bit of food. We had barbecue chicken recently, so we've got a little barbecue chicken left over. Some pinto beans, just mixed it all together, put a little cheese in there, and we're set. Getting a little nibble there. <clears throat> Hopefully this is a bream nibble. I was getting a little concerned, but I think this is a bream. I want to keep that friction break at a fairly reasonable position, not knowing what we're going to hook into here. We are at 25 meter clip and basically casting in that direction. 124.66, normally a carp spot. Although when you're fishing for carp here, sometimes the clip's a little farther than 25, but I have fished with 25 clip for carp here. Sometimes it does work a little shorter, shorter end, um, but more often than not, it's 35 to 45. Ooh, can we save that? Yes, we saved the PVA bag. I guess I should show you what's in the PVA, huh? It's kind of what you'd expect for bream. We do have the pearl barley with the nice oil attractant, pearl barley base, and then we've got millet porridge, peas, maggots, casters. A lot of stuff that you would associate with uh, with bream, We're making a PVA for bream. I 
I must say overall so far I'm pleased with the bite rate let's see if it actually keeps this up at night though when you would on most maps at least expect the the bream to be the most active and that last one notwithstanding we haven't had a bunch of real small bream either even though we started way early So if you were with me for that last video, uh, and I don't know exactly when this one will release, it may be a few hours afterwards, but the last video I made was over at Peg One, fishing for carp with um, mussel pellets and mussel corn on a snowman rig. And although it overall felt pretty slow, I must say, because of the red starvus and the nice frames, it ended up being over 400 silver for an hour. So, although it felt a little slow, the silver amount was still very nice. That might be slightly undercast or just perfect. I'm using a little 30 gram sinkers on here I figured since we're going for it the only the other thing we could do is throw on a um, a carp leader instead of fluorocarbon we are at amber after all I mean I think a lot of folks fish for bream and other cautious or smaller fish with carp leaders anyway these days I'm not sure it matters a whole lot but We could try that on one. Maybe we'll switch this, this middle one out to a carp leader, if I even have a carp leader at the appropriate size. The bream are popping out right now. Let's see what leaders we have for feeder leaders. Yeah, 6.8 would work. So we could try a 6.8. Might be worth trying. We'll put it on this third one just so we can keep it straight which one that has the carp leader on it. All right, 6.8. There we go. Trophy rig. We got one trophy, trophy rig in. And the bream are really coming out nice at the moment. I mean, very nice. Uh oh. We hit a little carp here? Or is this a bream? Six point two? I mean it's a nice bream if it's a bream, right? I 
It seems like it might be a bream because it feels like it really has tired out all of a sudden. Which a carp would probably fight a little bit longer. Let's take a peek. It is a bream. It should be in the four kilo mark range. Ooh, it's big boy. 3.683. I like it. And this is the line that has the carp leader on it. Another nice one. Alright, something's wrong. That quiver tip isn't on the same as the other ones. We have some quiver tip issues. That will drive me crazy till we fix it. Nice quick bite on the one that needs to be changed as far as quiver tip. Which bream aren't that soft a bite. I don't actually know if going down to 14 grams is really necessary, but it's fine. way too small a sample size to say anything definitively but it will be interesting to see if it just kind of feels like the fluorocarbon leader is maintaining a slightly better bite rate than the carp leader which i don't know if, if that is the case at all i suspect it won't matter but at least in the last couple minutes it seems like rod one and two have been a slightly more active than rod three but not by much
not sure what our numbers are at at this point. We can check. But it certainly seems like... We have caught quite a few, maybe like 12 to 15 over a kilo, but I don't, I don't know, maybe more than that. Let's, let's take, a, take a gander here. We've had some of these like less than a kilo markers. We had a couple of undersized ones early. Six, 12, so we're at 17 right now with a lot of night left. And we'll see, I feel like, you know, an old Berg or Corey's even had good bream lately, Volkov. Uh, it, it seems like sometimes there's sort of a dead time recently in the middle of the night, more so than it used to be, in my opinion, where even the bream will stop biting for a little while. So I'm curious, again, I've never targeted bream here at Amber before, so Kind of curious what the rest of the night will bring. So far we've dodged the common carp and that kind of stuff, but I do think carp are so prevalent in these waters. You could hit one for sure. And you could hit one that's going to be impossible to get in on this gear as well. I mean, there's a little bit of risk here. There often is, I guess, with bream fishing, but at amber, I would just think it's a little more pronounced. That's weird. We've had, um, yeah, we've had some nibbles. So there's a fish on a line. Let's see if it's this one. Nope. Maybe this one. Nope. How about this one? Nope. The game's lying to me. It's all right. Be that way. Yeah, it, I think it was close. The game already thought it was on, wasn't quite on yet. Now it is. Let's see if this is still, yeah, it's about where I want to be. This is kind of that time where I feel like more recently in last year or two, bream fishing has morphed into uh, a little less, less consistency in the very middle of the night, like this 2 to 3, 4 a.m., and used to, I felt like it was very reliable that a lot of trophies would come in right around 6.30, 7 a.m. I think that's a little different these days, too. But it seems like trophies are a little more random when they come in. But Bream have definitely gotten some nerfs, I think, over the years. Definitely an XP more recently, but even just kind of the size of them and the way they were they come out uh, seems a little different these days than how it used to be. Certainly at a map like Volkov.
again, I could be wrong on this, but it does seem to me that the carp, the carp uh, leader on rod three has just been slightly slower than rod one and two. And this is not scientifically reliable data. It's just too small of a sample size, but that is the uh, gut feeling I have since we switched that over to the carp leader. Hello there. Another nice one. Please don't pop off. You kind of worry about it early in the fight like this, just popping off. Should be another one, three plus kilos. Squirming out there. All right, we got him. Woo, 3.2 this time. Slightly smaller than the last one that was nice fat size. Yeah, look how slow that third rod seems right now. Almost feel like we need to recast it or something. Or put the fluorocarbon leader back on. Try to be patient, see if it gets another fish here shortly, but yeah, there it goes. I might switch it back to fluorocarbon. I think we've just caught more fish on the first two rods over time but man oh man we've gotten some nice ones so we're now at 22 over a kilo uh you know if this were old berg or well, anywhere else for bream i would say this seems like a really nice spot we are talking about amber so i'm not sure why you would target bream at Amber other than just like the fun of it or if you want to get that trophy card thing filled in for Amber but it's a good change of pace if you've been doing a lot of carp fishing here seems like a pretty active bream spot at the moment so that nibble like might have gone away now I don't think we're gonna catch a fish on this question is when do we just flip it out real quick I don't know I guess we'll leave it at this point until it catches another fish I mean it's not the end of the world it does feel sort of like we're fishing for bream with two rods right now but we're doing pretty well so it's another nice one over two kilos Oh, maybe this will actually catch a fish this time. Yeah, it looks like it is going to have a fish on that third rod. This might be two, two kilos slightly more. Uh, one and a half. This is also a nice one. Just one after another. All 
All right, we're going to go back to six point two on fluorocarbon for the last few minutes here. We've had some nice ones in the last like five, seven minutes. See if it can keep it up. You'd expect about three more in-game hours of really strong bream fishing. I am using loop rig, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. For what that's worth. That's a common roach. Huh. First non-bream we've caught here. Not the common that I expected to be an off catch. You never know when roach are going to show up, I guess, but I really thought there was a reasonable chance we'd see a common carp during all this. Which maybe we still will. I mean, this is the kind of di time of day when sometimes the common carp start coming out pretty aggressively. But I am okay with limiting it to bream. Check and see how much line. So we've got 294, 300, and 300 meters on these reels. So no matter what size it is, if it's a bream, we should be able to get it in. Now, a really big carp, not necessarily. Oh, hear that? That might be the sound of a common carp. Bream don't often run quite like that, <laughs> but we shall see. Let's let's get a feel for it. Let's get a feel for it here. Well, if it's a bream, we've probably trophied it. Uh, if it's a common carp, we just may or may not get it in. It, it's not... It's not running very fast, for what it's worth, but it's running. We're just going to take it nice and easy for now. Because if it's a bream, it'll get tired pretty quick. And if it's common carp, it just depends on the size. Right now I'm optimistic, but we'll see if we actually make any headway on seeing a difference in how it's pulling. We've just got so much line left, you know we don't lose it then we may just outlast it whatever it is it does seem like it has stopped doing the runs
kind of. <laughs> there it goes. I think if I was streaming right now, chat would start saying common carp. I think chat might be right. So technically we could get up to here, but you know, if it's going to run all the way across the lake, that doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, and we would have to pull it out some, go left a little bit before we would start getting the relief of going back right. Do we start walking right a little bit to try to chase it down this way? We're at half a spool now. Again, if we go right, it just pulls away. I don't know. I think we just take our chances here. If it, if it spools us, it spools us. We've had a good session of Bream, so we definitely knew this was a possibility. And we'll start up in the ante a little bit, try to put some fatigue on this fish, whatever it is. It still has a long way to, that it needs to run if it's going to spool us, but the downside of this is we're not actually fishing for bream this whole time. And this is like the ideal bream time. We've kind of actually a little past ideal, but. Are either one of our other lines spooling? Let's just take a quick look. I don't think so. I think just have normal bream on there. All right, it's about as much pressure as I'm comfortable putting on it. have it in the red like this you definitely take a little bit more damage I think uh, and you take a lot more damage if you try to reel in against it while it's pulling in the red let's sneak a look here where exactly did this run to? Just straight out, right? Straight out. Is that the little island? No, that's the island way down there. The island is over there, I gotcha. Yeah, it's not really going left or right at all. It pretty much just ran straight away from us. We're just over quarter spool. So probably maybe about 90 meters of line out still. It's been a while though. This could be a really tired fish at this point. I've been putting some good pressure on it using the rod. And We've got a long way to reel it in, but it may be tired of fighting us.
Yeah, we just can't shift drill right now unless we want to rack up the damage, and I don't. So, let's we'll have to go slow reel here. So, what do you think? Seven, six, seven kilo common? To run like that for that long on us? Maybe a little bigger? I don't know. Could it be maybe upwards, upwards of 10, maybe? It did run for a while. Yeah, my numbers were off there because technically if we had a bigger spool than 300 meters, this reel would hold 380 meters, I think. So when it was getting down to a quarter, that's more like what? 90? I don't know, it's a little late at night for me to do math, but anyway, my numbers weren't exactly right there because we have less less line than um, we don't have a full spool because we only have a 300 meter line. Still a little ways out there, but I think he is a hundred percent tired though. At least pretty close. I guess this is this is an example of having a pretty nice bream reel bream setup here. This is an example of it paying off a little bit because of the spool size on these Titans. Ooh. It pulled a little bit there even though we weren't shift reeling. I did shift reel for a little bit earlier because it just seems so dead, but now it's kind of like, oh, we're getting close to the shore. Let's one last fight here. Is it really close? It's not that close. I don't know why it's suddenly like Reese. It's got some strength again. Well, uh, I think it's a common, right? I mean, there's so many different types of carp in this, in this lake, but it looks like the top of a common and it might be a little bigger than I thought. That's frustrating the way it's jerking my line. It's still not completely tired, I guess. That's a decent little common, especially for the rig we got that in on. Titan 8000, 7.1. So I was right the first time on the guess, especially using these little 6.2 liters. I guess that makes sense. 
All right, let's see what these bream were that have just been sitting here for hours. Yeah, that 999, that definitely interrupted our bream flow, didn't it? Well, it did, it did, um, timing wise. I mean, I, I did think that commons were going to be a possibility here. Uh, it was a little larger common than I was hoping we would hit, but, um, all right, let me relog because I do want to see how much silver these are worth. Be right back. All right. Unless something has changed, I do not think there were any um, any uh, bream orders at the cafe. But we'll double check that. And then we'll go see what this, this pile of bream is worth at Amber. Probably a little bit more than it would be sell for at Old Berg. But still, you know, normally you spend 42 minutes fishing. You got a ton of carp. So it's just going to be hard to compete with that. Yeah. So no, uh, no bream orders. Bloop. One eighty two. One sixty eight without that common. But yeah, they definitely add up. One eighty two, not bad. Not nowhere near carp money, but still not bad and a lot of fun interesting to be able to target bream like that here at amber okay everybody thanks for watching i really appreciate it tight lines hope to see you very soon and uh, wish you all the best thanks again